As artificial intelligence advances, so does the heat in data centers. The supporting infrastructure faces a critical silent challenge, thermal management. And that's not a metaphor. Rising temperatures in data centers have become one of the most sensitive issues in today's tech ecosystem. While the focus is usually on faster models, more powerful GPUs, or high-performance memory, which now reach prices comparable to a next-gen console, heat is the true Achilles heel of this digital revolution. When the cooling fails, the entire system stops. One of the most recent cases demonstrates this clearly. Financial giant CME Group suffered an operational outage that affected currency, futures, and other essential service platforms. The source of the incident? A failure in the cooling system of a data center operated by Cyrus One, a company that manages more than 55 facilities globally. In an AI-based environment, servers don't just process huge volumes of information, they consume massive amounts of energy and generate heat equivalent to an industrial furnace. When the cooling system is insufficient, the risk of a shutdown is imminent. And as we've seen, the consequences can be global. Cooling technologies, when air is no longer enough. Traditional methods based on airflow have reached their limit. That's why the industry has turned to liquid cooling solutions, capable of offering up to 3,000 times more thermal efficiency than conventional systems. However, this technology brings new challenges. The possibility of leaks, corrosion, greater maintenance complexity, and of course, significant water consumption. To mitigate that impact, companies like Microsoft are adopting closed-loop water systems, which allow for reuse, reducing water demand, and minimizing environmental impact. And when the heat is unavoidable, some initiatives are already looking to transform it into useful energy. Several data centers are exploring the reuse of waste heat for district heating or industrial processes. Availability at the limit, the pressure of AI on infrastructure. According to specialists like Daniel Mutton, mission-critical facilities are designed to maintain an availability close to 99.99%, so a thermal failure is practically unacceptable. But the reality is clear. The acceleration in demand, driven by generative models, massive training loads, and real-time processing, is pushing many data centers to operate closer to their thermal limits than ever before. Cooling, a multi-billion dollar business in full expansion. Where there's a challenge, an opportunity also arises. The boom in AI processing has generated a real explosion in the thermal solutions sector. In November alone, Eaton acquired Boyd Corporation's thermal division for $9.5 billion, one of the most important deals of the year driven precisely by the growing demand for cooling infrastructure. It's not a minor detail. Up to 40% of a data center's total energy consumption is dedicated solely to keeping it cool. So yes, as servers reach extreme temperatures, the cooling market is also heating up. Conclusion, a bright and extremely hot future. AI has the ability to solve problems ranging from advanced science to everyday interaction, but it still can't solve its own thermal challenge. Until that happens, keeping a cool digital head will remain one of the most important and strategic challenges in the technology sector.